What is going on everyone? Happy Friday. Welcome back to the channel. Glad you guys can join me. But uh, here's the deal. It is Friday. We're going to keep this video short to the point. Very simple because after all it's Friday and I know you have stuff to do and just in case you don't, I certainly do. I'm about to fire up that grill and we're going to have ourselves a good old time or at least I am. And uh, hey, if you want me to, I can live stream it so that you guys can join me in case you don't have anything to do. Just let me know in the comments right after you smash that thumbs up button. First of all, I want to take this opportunity to review some of the topics that we've discussed previously this week. We've dropped a lot of videos, y'all, about uh, Ken Griffin or good old pal. Uh, we've talked about how he's kind of getting into real estate well we actually didn't discuss that but we did talk about how this guy is setting records he should be in the world almanac for setting records when it comes to not only spending money but buying real estate properties or building uh houses right homes so this guy previously set the record on uh the most expensive home in the u.s and just did it again, or he's doing it, he's in the process of doing it again. This time he's spending almost twice as much. Wow, what a guy. Glad to see that he's putting our money to good use. So Ken Griffin also sponsored, completely, well, paid for, sponsored. Same freaking meaning, different words, right? So what else did we discuss this week? Well, we talked about Walt Disney. Well, actually not Walt Disney. We talked about Disney World. And trips to Disney World, to be specific, because they're always fun, when you get to take 1,200 people and their entire families with you, including their extended families. I don't know if he's that rich. He most certainly is, Ken Griffin is. He sponsored this trip for his Asian Citadel employees. Wow. We also made a video talking about how King Griffin attacks his employees. So I know this seems kind of like, well, it doesn't make sense, right? So he's taking employees to Disney World. Then he's also like attacking his employees. What the heck is going on? Well, let me tell you what's going on. If you're a good pet, Ken Griffin will pet you because that's all he needs you for, the emotional support. And you're just an emotional support animal if you're one of his employees or fans, followers, groupies, whatever you want to refer to yourself as. I don't know because I'm an ape and I do not follow Ken Griffin. I do not fool around with that guy because he's a total piece of spit. But Ken Griffin, he does attack his own employees. It's not a place you want to work at, which is why I withdrew my application, remember? No, that was just a parody video I put out this week. Thought I'd throw that in there. And some of you got mad in the comments and were like, what, you're working for Ken Griffin now? No, I hate you, you know? And I had to come back and tell you guys, hey, calm the F down, Willis. I do not work for Ken Griffin, never have, never will. Unless he offers me like $20 an hour. At which point, I won't be able to resist, right? Screw that! I don't care if he pays me 21. I won't even go there for 22 or 23. They'll have to pay me at least 25. Back to the subject matter at hand. He attacked his employees and is apparently trying to file suit against them because they're doing something better with their lives. My gosh. They're improving their lifestyles. They're making more money than they did. Over here at Citadel, so now we must, uh, well, show him who's boss. He wants to be the boss so bad. Gosh, his money's enabling him, allowing him to be the boss. And, uh, you know, he wants to keep that title. Well, he might be in cahoots with Google, which we know Google owns YouTube. And, yeah, there's another topic we must discuss very soon. I think that's going to come out either tomorrow or the next day because there's a lot of... Extra research I have to do because I'm not just going to report some, some BS to you guys, right? But yeah, I saw that. Some of you might know what I'm talking about. Some of you may not. So that's what we're going to get into. Uh, yeah, check your syllabus, man. We also talked about the IRS lawsuit. He's suing the IRS because they revealed that he actually pays almost not spit in taxes. He pays like 12% less than your average American that works at McDonald's. How in the heck is that possible? Well, it's because he influences policy. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, why is he coming back and repeating everything he said this entire week? I do this so that you always keep Ken Griffin in mind. 
And specifically what I mean by that is so that you always remember Ken Griffin is evil. He is a bad guy. I don't want you to get fooled by uh, the persona that he portrays in the media because he's responsible for all of the articles, videos, everything that you read positive about Ken Griffin. Well, that's because he pays to uh, portray himself in that positive light, in that manner. We know better, we're smarter, we're dumb apes. Apes are dumb enough to be smart enough to realize when someone's bull s in us and that's exactly how we know that ken griffin is full of shit sorry for cussing somebody put a banana in my mouth but peel it first because i do not eat the peel it's not attractive and it does not taste good i think we can pretty much wrap up this video well other than uh, the fact that i'm gonna read you a new article because you know i hold ken griffin dear to my heart and everything he's involved in is important to me because it's extremely important keep your friends close Keep your enemies even closer. Sounds good to me, man. I think that's what I'm going to run with. Now, it's time for me to read you an article very quickly. I found this article extremely interesting because it has to do with all of this real estate stuff that Ken Griffin has been involved in lately. I want to get to the bottom of it. We definitely need to dig deeper, do some more research. But I think this article is worth, well, me reading to you on my channel. You ain't got to read it. All you got to do is listen while I read it to you. So just sit back, relax, and put your headphones in, Jax, because I'm fixing to read it to you. A-Rod winning. Citadel's Ken Griffin buys Miami property back from former Yankee for a whopping $45 million. You might be asking yourself right now, what the heck is A-Rod? Well, if you don't watch baseball like me, and this kind of initially just did confuse me because I'm like, a-Rod, what the heck? What are they talking about? So A-Rod is Alex Rodriguez. Apparently, he's a baseball player. Uh, of course, that's how he came up with the money to be able to exchange properties with uh, our buddy, Ken Griffin. So getting back to the article, the hedge fund billionaire clearly wanted his Star Island home back after selling it to Rodriguez for $18.5 million last year and also an adjacent property that was included with it. Looks like hedge fund billionaire Ken Griffin keeps changing his mind. The Citadel CEO bought a lot at 14 Star Island Drive in Miami in 2020 for $24 million. Keep that number in mind, by the way. Before selling it to former Yankees player Alex Rodriguez last year for $18.5 million dollars i'm pretty sure he's already taken a loss of like what 5.5 million right there now griffin has bought back the property amazing dropping 45.5 million dollars on it so let me get this straight ken griffin you big old billionaire you already took a five million dollar loss when you sold this property to this yankees man this yankees player a rod because you bought it for, I'm sorry, over $24 million. You sold it to him for 18.5. Now you're buying it back for, what's that, 45.5? Somebody quickly get out a calculator, do all the math on that, and tell me exactly how much money Ken Griffin's lost because this is kind of what I live for. I live for seeing, watching Ken Griffin lose money. Millions of dollars. I'd actually like to see him lose billions of dollars of our money. I'd actually like him to pay it back to us, to me, because, dude, I'm doing kind of bad, man. I'm having to drive like a freaking uh, GMC Sierra right now. I should be in the new Bugatti. But thanks to you, Ken Griffin, I'm just in a Sierra, and that's not right. So now we're on a $27 million loss. And we can go ahead and add that uh, $5 million to that, which I believe, and I had to work this problem out on a chalkboard with crayons, y'all, yellow crayons to be specific, I believe that makes 32. And when you take a $32 million loss, you got to ask yourself, how the heck am I surviving? Well, I must be Ken Griffin and stealing 
from those of you that uh, shouldn't be stolen from. That's how he's surviving. He doesn't give a crap. He doesn't give a rat's ass about losing the $32 million that he just lost in a stupid-ass, moronic, idiotic, ape-like deal, I would say. But the apes, even though we're dumb, we're not dumb, right? We know what the heck we're doing. The reason he lost $32 million is because he doesn't give a crap. He didn't have to earn that money, okay? Easy come, easy go. So, when he gets this money easily by stealing it from us, he also lets it go extremely easily. Getting right back on track, the move is part of a larger goal for Griffin, who owns some of the most expensive properties in the country and is building a real estate empire in Florida. As part of last year's $18.5 million deal with A-Rod, the former all-star baseball shortstop that turned into a real estate investor and also threw in the adjacent lot at 13 Star Island Drive, which Griffin remains in control of, Rodriguez, and get this, dude, Yes, guess who else is involved in this? Now, if you're like a baseball fan or something, you might have already known this, known this, known this. J-Lo, dude, what the heck? Can you believe it? J-Lo and A-Rod. Now, I didn't know they were a thing. I don't, still don't know if they are a thing, but if they are, still blows my mind that Ken Griffin is like hanging out with J-Lo or making business deals with her. And A-Rod? Wow. So, Rodriguez and Jennifer Lopez paid $32.5 million for that property at the time. This property was located on Star Island, and uh, Griffin has spent hundreds of millions of dollars acquiring a series of lots. Wow. Spanning nearly 6.5 acres. Now, let me tell you what I would do if I had 6.5 acres. I would build the biggest and mightiest trailer park of all. But King Griffin apparently has uh, different ideas for it. So tell me what you guys think about all of this. Tell me how in the heck I missed that J-Lo and uh, this A-Rod dude and also King Griffin are some, somehow like, you know, hanging out together. Like, does Puff Daddy know about this? Somebody please leave an answer in the comments because I'm dying to find out. Anyhow, see you guys later. Happy Friday. See you on Saturday.